tonight at 10 it was it was really like you know kind of what are you talking about how no i just seen them yesterday a father's heartbreak his daughters were shot and killed by a man they've known for years police say jaleesa and amaya lockett were at home on north washington avenue when jaleesa's boyfriend sadiq shabazz fatally shot them both after an argument shabazz is now charged with capital murder NBC 5's Keenan Willard spoke with the father of the two women who says this loss still doesn't feel real. So it's still processing and, and, and just trying to understand it. John C. Lockett says his daughters were unique. 24-year-old Amaya Lockett was a quiet introvert who liked board games, while 22-year-old Jaleesa Lockett was the outgoing one, constantly surrounded by friends. The sisters shared an apartment in Dallas where each had a young child. They're both kind of becoming mothers and understanding that. On Saturday morning, the sister's family started getting calls from friends, saying something was happening at their apartment near 2400 North Washington Avenue. Trying to call and getting not getting in contact with anybody. We just went to their, their apartment and, you know, met with the police and they kind of told us there was a situation going on and uh, wound up going downtown and they told us what happened. Or they told us, you know, that they were both deceased. Dallas police told the family Man, by some fucking sun turd. Fort Worth, where they just had like all the little, all the kids shot by the four sun sons. I don't know. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, that was uh, yeah. This, you know, that they were both deceased. Dallas police told the family that Amaya and Jaleesa Lockett had been shot and killed, and that Jaleesa's boyfriend. 25-year-old Sadiq Shabazz is charged with Wow, murdering. they were introverts, but that's your boyfriend. Holy shit. She betrayed her sister, man. If you're going to date that guy, man, you got to take him to the fucking somewhere else. And... Yeah, you got to let him smut you out somewhere. You can't let him uh, smut you out of the crib, bro. You putting everybody in danger. Right, an argument. Like, he... He whacked both of them over argument. He didn't whack them because the kid wasn't his or, you know what I'm saying, like she gave him something or just like an argument. He just whacked both of them. <laughs> and he's obviously been to prison before. Yeah, if I was, if, if that was my sister, she brought this nigga around, like the temperature, everything is like instantly going up to 100, bro. Immediately. I'm like, oh, shoot, the fuck? They they play with fire like that, though. I, man, you just don't know, man. The girls in my family, they this is just. Bro, this is what they like. Bro, they can't resist this. Bro, this is the archetype, bro. Yeah, this is, this is what they do, man. I guarantee you this nigga got at least like three, four baby mamas, bro. Oh, at least, man. At least. And, and listen, man. He when when they met him, when whichever the, the girl met him, she he probably lied maybe at first or whatever. But then like at some point before she got pregnant, she she knew about those four or five other baby mothers and the several stints in prison, and then she still decided to get pregnant because that's what they like. That he speaks to their. When you people don't understand that when you live in a highly dangerous chaotic environment, sometimes the safest place to be is in the eye of the storm. It feels like it, you know what I mean? And this is the eye of the storm. Unreal. It was is really like you know, kind of what are you talking about? How, no, I just seen them yesterday. Investigators say around 3 a.m. Saturday, Jaleesa and Amaya were at home with their boyfriends when Jaleesa and Shabazz started arguing. Police say Amaya and her boyfriend went into another room, then heard go. Oh, the boyfriend was, both of them had their boyfriends there. Oh, shit. So he killed the other girl in front of her boyfriend. Uh, wow. How, 
No, I just seen them yesterday. Investigators say around 3 a.m. Saturday, Jalisa and Amaya were at home with their boyfriends when Jalisa and Shabazz started arguing. Police say Amaya and her boyfriend went into another room, then heard gunshots. When they tried to go back in the room, police say Shabazz shot Amaya and her boyfriend. Amaya's boyfriend made the 911 call and is expected to survive. It, it, it's just a shock. Oh, shot him too. Yeah. Yeah, it's Go a shock, pass. kind of like what, what trying to process it and still at this at this moment is still trying to process it. The sister's father says his family had been concerned about Shabazz in the past and Jalisa had recently expressed a desire to end their relationship. Police say Shabazz confessed to the shooting. If he's convicted, Lockett wants to see the suspect punished. I just want justice to be served not only for my daughter, but for my my grandchildren, uh, whatever that means under the color of law. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. As they grieve, the family's now facing the challenge of arranging funerals for two young women and still not knowing why this tragedy happened. Right now, it's just family. We're all trying to just process what's going on. Kenan Willard, NBC5. Shabazz is being held on a $3 million bond. Anyone who wants